Hey everyone, so you've got your hydroponic set up, water, light, and a whole lot of love. But why does your lettuce look like it's auditioning for a wilted salad bar? Welcome to the hydroponic adventure. Today, I'm your friendly hydro nerd here to help you feed your plants, right? All right, let's dive in. This video will teach you everything you need to know about hydroponic nutrients, what they are, how they work, and how to avoid making a nutrient soup your plants can't digest. We'll cover the big players, the supporting cast, and give you some pro tips. Ready? Let's do this. First up, the big three macronutrients, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Think of nitrogen as the energy drink for your plants. It fuels leafy growth. Phosphorus, it's the root building contractor, essential for strong roots and beautiful flowers. And potassium, that's your plant's personal trainer, helping them build strong stems and resist disease. Meet the mighty micronutrients, calcium, magnesium, and iron, along with zinc, manganese, boron, and others. They might be micro, but they are mighty. A deficiency in these can cause some bizarre symptoms, yellow veins, stunted growth, or your tomato acting dramatic. Now, let's mix those nutrients without a chemistry degree. Step one, fill your reservoir with clean water. Step two, add part A, the grow nutrients. Step three, add part B, the bloom boosters, or CalMag. Step four, stir and test the pH and EC levels. Adjust before transplanting seedlings. Remember, this isn't spaghetti sauce, it's plant science. When it comes to leafy versus fruiting plants, there's a slight difference. Leafy greens, like lettuce and basil, are low maintenance, needing more nitrogen. Fruiting plants, like tomatoes and peppers, want a balanced NPK ratio with bloom boosters. Think of leafy greens as salad lovers, while fruiting plants want steak, wine, and a dessert menu. General Hydroponics, Flora Series, Fox Farm Hydro Trio, Advanced Nutrients, PH Perfect, Botanicare, CNS 17, and Dynagro Grow Bloom are all great options. These aren't sponsored, but we do like results. And these brands won't melt your roots or your wallet. Overfeeding leads to brown roots and leaf burn. A pH that's too high causes nutrient lockout. Mixing nutrients too fast? Hello Cloud City, always test pH. After mixing, change your reservoir weekly. And remember, less is more for seedlings. All right folks, that's a wrap. Hydroponic nutrients don't need to be scary. Just measured, mixed, and monitored. Want a cheat sheet that keeps it simple? Download our free hydronutrient cheat sheet. NPK ratios, top products, and quick mixing steps. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and check out our next video, five common hydro fails and how to avoid them. Happy growing.